Hi hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Gothic Dark Mysteries. Now I have a couple of things to do here at the old camp. Hmm. First, I would like to join the mages to um, to go um, and finally I've start upgrading my magic skills to later showcase some of the new spells and all that. So let's talk to Milton. Chciałbym zostać uczniem maga, tak jak ty. Koristo wybrał mnie, bo oddałem szczególne usługi potężnym magnatom. Jeśli naprawdę chcesz zostać jego uczniem, musisz wykazać się czymś niezwykłym. No i oczywiście musisz najpierw zostać przyjęty do starego obozu. Koristo niechętnie patrzy na ludzi z innych osiedli. Hmm. Do zobaczenia. So I wonder if I made a blunder and misremembered something? Or maybe uh, the uh, the ability to be in several camps at once uh, was actually introduced in the newest version uh, in the newest version of this mod which as i said is not uh, doesn't have an english translation um, because it seems that i'm now considered to be the part of the mine camp and thus uh, ineligible for becoming um, Nie masz tu czego szukać. Precz. For becoming a fire mage, which is kind of a bummer, but not to the degree you might think, because I will still be uh, able to learn magic, even on the highest, uh, like, the high-end magic, the really powerful stuff, but it'll be later when I go and finish, well, not finish, but uh, progress the main storyline of the mod, having to do with the primevals, which is uh, the quest I've got from the mage at the mine camp, which is the um, uh, strange search quest. Where is it? Here. Yeah, this one. Uh, so it'll be some time, so I guess I'll have to manage with just my sword and you know, regular business to destruction for now. I want to report to, to the raven because Yeah, so, basically, so basically, this relatively unassuming quest to find all the missing diggers is actually the conclusion to the storyline of the mine camp, and it lets you basically take it over and become its leader, which you know is a cool option to have. Uh, but before I proceed with that, I want to again talk with the guy that's imprisoned here because he wanted a piece of armor and I already have a couple of spare ones so I can finally help him Może 
dobrze wsi. Kiedyś takie sprawy załatwiało się inaczej. W dzisiejszych czasach na nikim nie można polegać. Od razu wiedziałem, że będą kłopoty. Myślałem, że to się skończy. Musisz wydarzy. uważać na to, co mówisz przy obcy. Tak długo, jak mnie to nie dozwoli. Yeah, so you have to uh, lead him out of the camp. Which fortunately isn't no, that big of a deal. It isn't even far. Um, although now that I have this sprinting upgrade, it's a little bit, little bit more inconvenient for the NPCs because um, they run much slower compared to the player character now. So um, they tend to get lost if you get too far from, uh, too, too far away from them. W dzisiejszych czasach na nikim nie można. Oh, somehow thought I would have to leave him out of the camp at all, not, not only the castle, but I guess I misremembered that. I guess it doesn't exactly work in English, you know, the pronoun game. Although, wait, wait a second. Actually, it should work in English better than in Polish. So I guess they just screwed the translation a little again, which is, isn't really uh, that surprising. Yeah, but um, this guy is actually, as I already mentioned, um, part of the uh, part of the group that went undercover at the bandit camp uh, that were in the cave. So I'll be visiting them later. But for now, uh, actually, one of the dig one of the diggers um, that you have to find is in this uh, collapsed tower here at the old camp. Translate Raven's name. Był czas, kiedy takie sprawy załatwiano inaczej. Niektórzy nigdy się nie nauczą. Zawsze to samo. Yeah, so that's one of the four diggers. Oh, 
I don't think you need to kill them. You just need to find them. And confirm where they are. So the other one is actually quite close. Mm, on the other side of the camp. Which I guess I haven't chosen the most convenient route to get there. Mm. But I do want to, vi to visit the smugglers to finish their quest because I think it might interfere with the final quest at the mine camp. Mm, so I wouldn't wouldn't want that to be, uh, you know, disrupted because. Um, Because I definitely want to showcase the ending of that plotline. There are still plenty of things to do. Yeah, overall I must say, even though, like, don't get me wrong, I, I love this game, but I would be excused for not not, no, not not noticing that from this playthrough because I find that it's really like low energy and kind of like it's almost like I'm bored. I'm not really like I wouldn't say I'm bored, but you can't really say I'm I'm enthralled by it anymore because I'm so familiar with it all. That's all a, all a little um, you know you know a little mechanic. You know I just. I just remember everything I had to do, so uh, it's not organic. I just have this routine that I'm doing. Um, but, well, I am enjoying myself enough to actually do it, which I guess is, you know, um, enough for a game. And I do want to, um, well, first to showcase the mod, in case anyone might become interested later, later and try, try it by himself. Uh, but I also want to uh, like Chronicle uh, going through this game and um, I'm a little bit oh well let's talk to him first and then I'll talk um, while I'm traveling Yeah, so uh, as you can see, there are some discrepancies in the orders, uh, but it's all a little, little disjointed because I visited the um, the hideout of the leader of Melkor, of the leader of the well, the like officially he's not the leader, but in practicality he is uh, his hideout a little bit earlier, uh, and found out his secret, which I guess would have been much more. Of an organic story if you did it uh, during du during this quest because it, it assumes that you d d don't know that he killed a representative of the ore barons mm, but what I was talking about earlier is that mm, in general like I was never I was never diagnosed with OCD or anything similar but I do think I exhibit uh, at least some uh, at least some uh, symptoms of like OCD behavior because uh, in general I 
and I'm very much interested in collecting like memories. I have this weird habit of, you know, screenshotting everything and uh, storing logs from chats and uh, like uh, when I play a game, I like to um, like screenshot my stats at the end of every game and I have a folder for it and uh, like. The, the whole idea for this channel, to be honest, uh, it began as a as an addition to my written journal, which I've been which I've been writing for years now. I started in late 2013, and it's more than a thousand pages at this point, and nearly uh, um, nearly a thousand and a half. Uh, so, yeah, in general, this channel was just like I never intended and. I don't think it's ever going to happen because the, 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 I never intended for it to be like mm, mm, watched by anyone, anyone else than me, and uh, it's not. I don't really think it's going to happen because the quality is rather subpar. But I don't particularly care about that because, uh, as I said, it's uh, it's just for it's just for me, and it's just because. I'm weird like that, and I like this. Uh, I like this feeling of uh, having, uh, you know, of having experienced everything the game had to offer, and of having like the memories of that event um, stored somewhere so that I can view them. Like in, in a couple of years, I can you know remember what I was doing and how I did at playing a game. Obviously, it's far more um, like enthralling and interesting, uh, both for me and presumably also for anyone watching, if I'm experiencing the, the, game, for, uh, the game for the first time, because then I am very much, uh, you know, uh, engrossed in, in, what is, uh, in what is happening and I, I experience it for, for uh, you know, um, fresh sort of. Um, whereas with Gothic, it's, as I said, a little bit of a more. Uh, oh damn it! I don't want them to suicide dive off the cliff because. Because it robs me of my experience. Uh, with Gothic, it's a little bit more of a mechanic thing at this point. I am so, so familiar with this game that I can't really. Like, I can't really comment anything overly original, because, well, maybe I could if I, you know, really tried hard, but... But... Uh, like, I, I just don't feel this... Oh, damn it. I guess I'll reload. I just don't feel the same way as I, as I did when I played this game for the first time. And even after, like, it's not just... Uh, because this is not my second playthrough, it's not my third, it's not my fifth, it's like my tenth. So after you've played a game for so long, it doesn't really feel the same. And it's more... Okay, it must, might, might not be the best idea, I've just... Hmm. It's more of a checklist thing for me at this point. Which I, I guess is totally not optimal, and I don't really think like I think it's a cr pretty crappy series to be honest. Uh, I don't really expect anyone to watch it because mm, it's it's mostly like boring. I, I'm not even talking about uh, anything apart from explaining some of my. Okay, I think I'm going to give it a pass for now. Uh, yeah, apart from explaining some of my uh, decisions, mm, but I got so far into it, like, I think it's about 12 hours now, so I wouldn't feel right uh, dropping it at, at this point. Mm, I think my playthrough of uh, Gothic 2 with the returning mod should be a lot more interesting, both for me and for anyone potentially watching, because um, I have never played Returning, so obviously it's going to be... Oh, damn it. It's going to be a new content for me, and it will be much easier for me to um, come up with some uh, more interesting commentary 
uh, if I'm if I'm actually commenting on something that I haven't seen a dozen times before. Um, yeah, but I still want to finish uh, this series because you know, just just because that's the, that's the way that's the way I am about things. I don't like um, like if I stopped now, I would feel I wasted all those hours. Damn it. Okay, I'm not really... Mm, totally not doing well. Um, well, first of all, I should probably heal. survived. Now this small location here is also added by the mod but there isn't much here. It's just a small um, water mill. And it, it isn't even overly significant. It's a part of it's part of two quests, one of which is to find the the, the one I'm currently doing, to find the lost diggers because one of them was actually killed here and you have to um, you have to confirm his death by looting his body. Mm. And the other is like not even. Uh, the other is just that you collect your reward from from another quest from a chest um, at this order. And damn it. I think I'm dead. Okay, I guess I just barely survived. Mm. Yeah, and I guess I wasn't the first one who died here, judging from the existence of, existence of this grave. Yeah, so this is a chest. You can't loot it now because it's locked with a key. Mm. Okay, so we have to loot the body of the digger. So that's three of the of uh, the four four diggers. Mm, save. Mm, I'm considering if I really want to take all the snappers on the other shore. I didn't do too well with the last encounter with them, but. I guess there were more of them there than here, so maybe maybe it will be okay. Yeah, I should I should be okay with this. Considered. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit more powerful, but it, but as you could see, I still can very easily die. I guess this one is bugged. You can still very easily die if you're not careful. And that's just the beauty of Gothic. I guess it was it was always true. You know, at first, during the first few hours of the game, even simple wolves are nearly impossible to kill. Um, and now, uh, they are basically sword fodder. 
Mm, but still, mm, there are still very, uh, very many creatures who are a great challenge, especially like the orcs. The orcs could probably like kill me in two swings still. And the problem with the orcs is they are very much pack animals, pre pretty much. They uh, they um, seldom travel alone. But I can see him doing quite well, taking down the orc dogs. Okay. Actually, try my luck against the trolls um, that inhabit this region. But first, I should probably heal. not really I guess it's not really an optimal strategy because I will need to have them a troll later in, later in the game. For now it's just obviously wasting time. And then, then again uh, scoring 2000 HP for a single uh, enemy is not really a bad thing. Wow, that was a... I wasn't paying attention. That was either a very powerful crit, or... It was a, or it was a, the troll from before that uh, was already wounded. Um, okay, so let's report back to... to... And the smugglers. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to. Mm, I'm trying to sort of triang triangulate my route of solving the few next quests so that it doesn't involve. Uh, too much backtracking, but it's getting a little bit complicated in my head. Yeah, and I think... Camera angle still going strong. Mm. 
którzy nigdy się nie nauczą. lepiej o czymś innym. To nie było zbyt mnie. Nie chciałbym Niech być teraz w jego skórze. Wątpię, żeby to się kiedyś zmieniło. Wątpię, żeby to się kiedyś zmieniło. Nie powinieneś wierzyć we wszystko. Yeah, so I think if I didn't have, I, if I didn't kill Quentin when he first betrayed us, uh, the smugglers would have been mad at me. Mm, so it's good that I did that. But also this quest with uh, the um, ore supply is actually one of the more open-ended quests in the mod. I think there are like four ways of solving it. Uh, and only one is, uh, you know, the, uh, the the way that the smugglers intend. You can totally betray them, mm, and it can be kind of profitable because uh, you can get a pretty cool uh, armor if you betray them to the uh, water majors. Because obviously, uh, water majors, uh, in particular, are very much interested in any amount of ore because they are collecting it for their ritual for their ritual. But if you do that, your like all the smugglers turn hostile, and you can't do the remaining quests. So um, overall, I wouldn't say it's beneficial, and I myself want to do it because I want to showcase the most amount of content. But it's definitely interesting, you know. The more possibilities you have, the cooler it is. Especially because, as, as much as I love uh, vanilla gothic. Uh, there wasn't really much choice there, mm, like most of the quests had only a single way of uh, solving them, whereas in this mod there are actually a, mm, more than a couple quests that offer you a rather large var variety of options um, as to mm, how to proceed, so I definitely enjoy that. Oh damn it. Mm, uh, I think I aggroed the orcs. Hmm, although maybe if I concentrate on them, because they seem to be... Okay, that didn't work. At all. Oh damn it. And I didn't say... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm still uh, much too weak to deal with the orcs, so I guess I'll leave them be. my strength, um, but on the other, um, uh, upping my magic skills to respectable level la later on will require a lot of experience. So, I should probably start hoarding those, um, those learning points. And in general, I'm not doing that bad mm, with fighting. I just have to be careful. Mm. 
Mm, I'm going to the camp and the swamp because <laughs> that bag with the forest again, where half of it disappears. Because I need to gather some uh, healing herbs for the quest with the alchemist and he lives in a remote enough location so that it isn't really pleasurable for me to you know, backtrack back and forth from there. Um, and I always try to optimize my next steps as to, minim uh, as to uh, minimize the amount of work required. But I also have to be careful not to progress too far with the uh, main problem because it might disrupt some of, some of the quests I'm currently doing. Mm. And I guess I can see if I can uh, square off against the swamp sharks at this point. I guess I'm pretty strong. And they usually are pretty solitary, like there are only a couple of them uh, at one location, so it should be possible, uh, totally possible to just lure them away from one another, from one another and, and deal with them this way. Mm, but first I must report to uh, Korkalom. Well, I guess I don't have to, but I definitely plan on doing that because, well, I'm here and I will have to do, do that sooner or later, so I can just progress the main quest a little. And there are still some things to be done before the game mm, before the game transits into chapter 3 so should be okay on that front Czego chcesz? Przyniosłem ci wnętrzności pełzacze. Wspaniale! W nagrodę możesz sobie wziąć jeden z moich najlepszych wywarów. Znalazłem jaja złożone przez królową pełzaczy. Wiedziałem! Moja wizja była znakiem od śniącego. Te jaja z pewnością zawierają silną wydzielinę. Świetnie. Dzięki nim przygotuję napój, który pozwoli nam nawiązać kontakt ze śniącym. A co z moją nagrodą? A tak. Dziękuję. Wolałbym jakąś namacalną nagrodę. Dobrze już. Czego chcesz? Myślałem, że to się skończyło już dawno temu. Może. Jeśli myślisz, że. To be honest, none of those seem to. Uh, to się już więcej nie powtórzy. Interesting. But a healing potion? It doesn't say it's a permanent upgrade, and I don't remember from the vanilla game. Oh, but I guess napój healing potions are really bad. Niech ten napój przedłuży twoje życie. Czekaj, lepiej się w nic nie pakować. Czy możemy teraz przystąpić do przywołania śniącego? Nie. Nie udało mi się jeszcze znaleźć sposobu na naładowanie kamienia ogniskującego. Niestety. Nie dysponujemy starożytną wiedzą na temat tych artefaktów. Chcesz powiedzieć, że zdobyłem te jaja na próżno? Nie. Posłuchaj. Istnieje prastary almanach, zawierający potrzebne nam informacje. Odkupiliśmy go od Koristo, jednego z magów ognia ze starego obozu. Niestety został nam skradziony w drodze ze starego obozu. Kazałem Talasowi, jednemu z nowicjuszy, dostarczyć mi tę księgę. Ale ten głupiec pozwolił się okraść. Zawiódł mnie. Ale postanowiłem dać mu drugą szansę. Ma odzyskać Almanach. Porozmawiaj z nim. Przyda mu się każda pomoc. Gdzie znajdę Talasa? Powinien być u stóp świątyni. Próbuję zjednać sobie kogoś do pomocy. Kto ukradł tę księgę? Talas twierdzi 
że został obrabowany przez czarne gobliny. Brzmi nieprawdopodobnie, ale mogło się tak zdarzyć. Co dostanę w zamian? Czyż nie przekonałem cię już o mojej hojności? Otrzymasz nagrodę odpowiednią do rangi zadania. Definitely one of the most generous Do zobaczenia. Oby śniący wskazał ci właściwą drogę. Now I wonder if. Oh, so it, it is a permanent bonus, I guess. That's cool. I don't remember if it's possible to skip uh, talking with the novice, because to be honest, I don't really want to follow him. For it seems like a far too tedious way of doing that, because you know. Having finished this game a dozen times, I already know where I have to go. Uh, so I think I'll try going there my, by myself. But first, I do need to go out no, into the swamp and collect some herbs for for the next quest. Hmm. Actually, I'm a little bit annoyed at how dark it is at this place, but hmm, I don't have the scroll of light, so I guess I'll have to suck it up. The problem is, I'm pretty sure I picked up most of the of the healing herbs uh, at this location, and then I ate most of them trying to heal myself. So that might be a bit of a problem, really, because it's the only location where they are really abundant. Like it's ne not the only location they are at, but. Um, it's the only location where you can expect to pick them up in lar large quantities. Oh yeah, I can definitely... I can definitely take a swamp shark. Now look at that and tell me that it looks more like a swamp shark than it does a swamp snake. I, c I still stand by the Polish translation decision to translate them as swamp snakes because it totally makes a lot more sense to me than swamp shots. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not sure about those healing herbs, I don't see any because, as I said, I picked most of them off the last time I was here. Which complicates my plans a little. But it's still a very, very good experience, you know. 500 experience per a single... Mm, per a single monster. Not to mention some pretty expensive skins. Some, but the problem I have is I don't remember because if you look closely there are actually like four or five separate types of healing herbs uh, which are all different items um, differing in strength of healing and the strength is denoted by the number of, um, of brown leaves that they have because they can have zero uh, from 0 to 4 and I don't know, I don't remember if the alchemist accepts all kinds of them or only the most basic ones 
if it's just the basic ones then I might actually be a little bit screwed because I don't know where to get them. So let's hope it's all of the types and not just the one. Oh, that's an interesting bug. Although I guess the trip was kind of worth it and just for the opportunity to hunt down the swamp sharks. definitely give you a lot of experience and they aren't even I would say at this point they are pretty easy to defeat because mm, they get staggered uh, with every hit and I don't think I was even hit by any of them uh, until this point which doesn't really ref reflect great on their fighting capability oh that's one of the This was actually one of the basic uh, um, healing herbs with no brown leaves, which I think are the ones that the alchemist um, is going to want. but it's all those uh, four-leafed kind and I know why I know exactly why <laughs> because a little, bit, a little bit later in the game uh, you're actually required to um, pick seven of those and I guess they must respawn because if you for example collected and ate them all in earlier chapters you would actually be stuck uh, in the main storyline of the vanilla game, so that's definitely, you know, um, a possibility that, 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 that the, the developers should try to avoid. Okay, I think that's enough. I hope, don't remember how many they want, but I mean, how many does the alchemist want? And again, I don't know if he accepts different varieties, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mm, yeah, 15 of those. I hope it's going to be enough. If not, then, well. Mm. But before I go, I want to go to the tavern and uh, make Slicer teach me another five points of, points of strength because ever since I dropped the ring um, that gave me additional strength, well, I, not, I didn't drop it, I just gave it away because it was part of the quest, uh, I can no longer use the Blessed Dawnblade and it's actually a lot better than this weapon and I'm definitely going to need it because um, I have a couple of pretty difficult fight uh, in the near future. Witaj. <laughs> Dostałeś baty i bardzo dobrze. Musisz uważać na to, co mówisz przy obcy. Lepiej się do tego nie mieszać. Hmm. 
Uh, so I guess I uh, accidentally turned in the earlier quest with the Monshiners. Um, I'll also check if my heavy armor is ready, although I don't think two days have passed since I talked with the smith. Okay, so let's change the weapon. Vitae. So how's the how's the armor? Nope. Well, I'll visit him next time. I think that's enough for this episode, so I'm going to save. Oh, damn it. And that's all for this one. See you in the next one. Bye.